technology never ceases to amaze us. Interestingly, it can now even remove physical barriers faced by disabled people. What we are going to show you next could leave you overwhelmed. Six years ago, Richard Vargas lost his hands in a dynamite explosion, a common occurrence in Bolivia. Now he wears two hyper-realistic prosthetic hands. They allow him to walk around unnoticed, write, eat using cutlery and do much more. In Bolivia, prosthetic limbs are largely imported from Europe or North America, where they are designed to replicate white skin. Also, they cost thousands of dollars. This prompted Bolivian electromechanical engineer Antonio Riveras to found Creotec. For example, this is a prosthesis of a 55-year-old person with a 1.60 meters height and obviously with a darker skin tone, like mine. These are not usually found in the prosthetics market. I learned the technique and brought it here. Now with plastic artists and anaplastologists, we are making these prosthetics with lots of realism. The prosthetics maker caters mostly to low-income Bolivians with prices as low as $300. The artificial limbs are designed to fit the patient's age and skin tone as closely as possible. Things like wrinkles, nail pigmentation and even tiny hair are considered. Clearly the field of prosthetics is exploding with new technologies and improving the lives of people with disability.